It's been a long time since I made a video about the settings, so here's updated version. Also some people asked me to do that. But since most of the people who are looking for such videos have problems with FPS, I decided to make this video not only about best settings, but also about the ways to how to increase FPS. So we're gonna do that in three stages. On first stage, we're just gonna change in game settings. On second stage, we're gonna use Blockstrap client. Probably most of you know about it. And on the third stage, we're gonna use some software. And also I tried all this ways on my seven years old laptop, and I could increase FPS from 17 to 40. So first of all, let's start from settings. If you have problems with FPS, probably the best range for you will be from 4 to 6. Depends on which distance you need to shoot. So if you need to go on site of mines, for example, you can set graphics to 4, because there are not many long ranges. But if you don't have problems with FPS, 7 will be the best choice. But also you can set it to 8, because it has slightly better render distance. But there is one thing about it. If you use NVG, for example, if you set graphics to 8 or higher, you will have blur while using NVG. And if you set graphics to 7 or lower, you won't have it. Now we're moving to settings in menu. So first of all, audio. Most of the settings depends on your preference. But in my case, I reduce music to zero. Sound effects, uh, something on 20%. Same about vehicles, because they're pretty loud. Or also I increased to maximum, so I can hear footsteps much better. Action sounds, I decided to reduce to 20% as well. And voice chat, I didn't change at all. In graphic settings, I mostly didn't notice much difference about them. Maybe only about texture detail. So I decided uh, to put everything to low. I think many settings uh, stopped working, because I remember that render distance affected on which distance you can see players, for example, and for some reason it stopped working. So I didn't notice a difference here as well, so I set it to low. Talking about sound detail, I noticed that if you set it to low, for example, you might hear footsteps on much shorter range, so either you choose medium or high. Uh, cinematic lights, tree shaking and water movement off, everything for better FPS. And at key binds, I changed the leaning to toggle, because it's much more comfortable to use them. And that's all about uh, in-game settings, but actually, if you have problems with FPS, won't really help you. So that's why we're gonna move to second stage. First of all, we need to download Blockstrap. Uh, I will leave link in the description. So first of all, you need to click right here. And after that, you need to click here. We need to open Blockstrap settings, and then we need to go to Engine settings, uh, Fast Flag Editor. You will have warning window here. You need to wait 10 seconds and press yes. After that, you need to press add new, then import, and I'm gonna leave in the descriptions in these settings. So we need to press OK, yes, and after that we need to save. So mostly there are graphical settings, uh, some of them change lighting, some of them change the quality of effects. Also there is a setting about title bar, so it doesn't appear anymore. But the most interesting setting here is this one. Probably most of you know that graphics quality increases not only graphics, but also render distance. And I think many people who have problems with FPS always wanted uh, to increase only render distance. And that's exactly what the setting does. So that's how it looks like. I still have pretty bad graphics quality, but as you can see, I still can change render distance. And this way you'll get much more FPS, even with higher render distance. And with this block strap settings, I could increase FPS on my seven years old laptop to 30. And before we move to the final stage, uh, if you want to bring everything back to default settings, you can, uh, you can press here, reset everything to defaults, and after that save, and you'll reset settings in this way. Now we're moving to the last stage, which increased FPS on my laptop to 40, and that's this uh, anti lag software. And actually, it's the best thing that I found for performance increase. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. You need to download in the same way. You need to click here, and then here. So after you open it, you will see such window. You need to click Enable anti lag It will make some changes, and after that, it will restart your PC. However, you need to keep in mind that uh, it also increases power consumption, because you will have a new power scheme, and let's say it uses your PC at maximum. However, there is one problem about this software, if you're using Windows 10. So we know that thing that uh, when you didn't close all programs, for example, Windows tells you to close them all, and you will see this every time while running this software, but if you're using Windows 11, you won't have such problems. So that's all for today. I hope this video helped you. You can leave a comment about that, for example, which FPS you had before, which FPS you have now. If you found this video useful, leave a like and subscribe comment. It helps out with video promotion. Join my Discord server with Bills and Tearless. If you really like my content, you can support me on Boosty, and see you next time.